Equations with fractions can look a little intimidating, but don't let them bother you. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to solve basic algebra equations with fractions. So here is our problem. We have 2 thirds h is equal to 1 fourth, and we're going to solve for the variable h without using a calculator. Now, if you think you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you two ways to solve this equation. One is kind of a hard way, and then the second way is going to be the way that you want to remember how to solve basic algebra equations with fractions. So I'm going to get into all of this in just one second. But first, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here is our problem. We have 2 thirds h is equal to 1 fourth. So of course we have fractions here, so how do we solve this type of equation? Well, in algebra, this is what we call a one-step equation, because to solve this equation for the variable h simply requires one step. So let's go ahead and see exactly what I'm talking about right now. So as I indicated, this is a one-step equation because all we need to do here is take one step to solve for the variable h. Now remember, in algebra, what we're trying to do is figure out what the value of the variable is. So h is equal to some number. And that number that we're looking for is called the solution. And one way to know if you have the solution is if you go back and replace the variable with this number that we solved for. And in this case, if we take 2 thirds and we multiply it by this mystery number h, well, if the product is equal to 1 fourth, well, then h is a good solution. So that is a little tip there for you. If you solve an equation and you're not sure if you have the right answer, you can always plug it back into the equation and check your solution. Okay, so what we're talking about here is something called one-step equations, and these are basic algebra equations. But uh, before I show you how to solve this equation, and typically equations with fractions seem to bother a lot of students, but we're not going to get into this equation just quite yet. What I want to do is review a couple of other real basic one-step equations. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one right here. We have x plus 2 is equal to 5. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is solve this equation for x. In other words, we're trying to get x is equal to some number. Now, this number over here should be our solution. But here we have x plus 2 is equal to 5. Now, if I want an x by itself, what can I do to this equation? Well, what you want to do is get rid of this 2, right? So instead of x plus 2, I just want x by itself. So we can subtract a 2 away from this positive 2. But here is the thing. In algebra, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the same thing to the other side. So here we have to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. And this is our one step that we need to take to solve. So now all we have to do is add in a column manner. So x plus nothing is x. 2 minus 2 is 0. We don't need to write that. And then, of course, 5 minus 2 is 3. So x is equal to 3. Now, let's just check the solution. Okay, so if x is equal to 3, well, if I replace this x with a 3 and then add 2 to it, do I get back to 5? Well, indeed, we do, right? So 3 plus 2 is 5, and 5 is equal to 5. Okay, so this is an example of a one-step equation. Now, if you notice here, let me kind of erase all this so we can kind of see what's going on. I have x plus 2 is equal to 5. So to solve this equation, I had addition. I had to use subtraction. Okay, so you have to think in terms of the opposite operation. So let's go over here and try this equation. So here I have x minus 2 is equal to 5. So what do you think we need to do to get x by itself? Now remember, you want to think in terms of an opposite operation. So here we had addition. We had to use subtraction. So if I have subtraction over here, well, you're probably saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, how about we add this time? Instead of subtracting a 2, we can add a 2 to both sides of the equation. 
And that is exactly what we need to do. Okay, so now we just add in a column manner. So x plus nothing is x, minus 2 plus 2 is 0, and then, of course, 5 plus 2 is 7. So x is equal to 7 is the solution. Okay, so again, these are examples of one-step equations. Now, let's take a look at this example right here, and this is also a one-step equation. I have 2x is equal to 10. Now, what is this operation right here, 2x? In other words, what is the mathematical operation when you have a 2 or a number in front of a variable? Well, hopefully, you know that this is multiplication. Okay, so this is 2 times x. Now, if you have multiplication, what do you think is the opposite operation to multiplication? Well, hopefully, you said division. Okay, so we're going to be using division here to solve for x. So we have 2x is equal to 10, or 2 times x is equal to 10. So what we're going to do here is divide both sides of the equation by 2. And, of course, we're going to take that one step to solve. So 2 divided by 2 is what? Well, that's 1, or just 1x or x. And then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So x is equal to 5 is the solution. Okay, so these are examples of one-step equations. Now, if you can kind of remember what's going on here, I'm going to show you two ways to solve this equation with fractions, but I'm going to leave you with uh, one way that is the easiest method. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply everything that we just learned about one-step equations to our problem. So here we have 2 thirds h is equal to 1 fourth. Now, again, what is this operation? We have 2 thirds h or 2 thirds times h. So this is multiplication. So what do you think we need to do here to solve for the variable h? Well, if you're saying, hey, Ms. D2 Math Man, I think we need to use division. Well, that is pretty good thinking. And a matter of fact, you can use division to solve for h. So let's go ahead and see that right now. And what we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 2 thirds, because 2 thirds divided by 2 thirds is what? Well, anything divided by itself is 1. And what we want here is a 1 in front of the variable. So here we have 1h or h. So dividing 2 thirds by both sides of the equation will give us h on the left-hand side. So what we're left with is this right here. And this is what we call a complex fraction. So we have a fraction being divided by another fraction. So we have 1 fourth divided by 2 thirds. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean this up right here. And when we do, we'll have our solution. So h is going to be equal to 1 fourth divided by 2 thirds. Again, we have a complex fraction, 1 fourth divided by 2 thirds. Now remember, anytime you have a fraction bar, that is the same thing as the division operator. Okay, so now we get to have some fun and divide these two fractions. But this is actually pretty easy. So to divide fractions, what we need to do is go from division to multiplication. And the way we do that is to flip the fraction to the right of the division operator upside down. So we're going to go from division to multiplication. And then we're going to flip this fraction to the right of the division operator. So instead of 2 thirds, we have 3 halves. Okay, so now all we have to do is multiply these two fractions. So 1 fourth times 3 halves. Well, how do you multiply fractions? Easy. All we have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 1 times 3 is 3, and 4 times 2 is 8. So h is equal to 3 eighths. That is the correct solution. Okay, so if you got this right, that is fantastic. I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and an A. Okay, and I'm not going to give you an A plus just quite yet because if you solve the equation this way, that is very good. But there is a far easier way to solve this equation. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so let's take a look at an easier way to solve this equation. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with looking at this equation in terms of using division, right? Because we have multiplication here. This is 2 thirds times h. So if you're thinking, well, I need to divide both sides of the equation by 2 thirds, that's not a problem. However, 
what we have to do here to solve this equation is deal with this complex fraction. And most math students that I know are not really fans of fractions, right? So let's see if we, there's another way to avoid doing some fraction work. Now, of course, we're still gonna have to deal with some fractions, but complex fractions tend to confuse a lot of students. So I'm gonna show you a far easier way to think about this equation and get the answer. Now, the main idea here is to really kind of understand the goal of solving an equation, all right? So what is the goal here? Well, what we're trying to do is find the solution, but really in practical terms, what we're trying to do is get an H or a one H on one side of the equation and then some number to the right hand side. So when, when we get the equation to this uh, kind of step, we are done, right? So we have H is equal to some number and hopefully if we did the equation steps right, this number would be the solution. But the main idea here is that what you're trying to do is get a one H, right? So here we have two thirds H and our goal is to get this equation to have a one H. So if we think of uh, uh, the equation in these terms, well, then we can solve this equation in an easier way. Okay, so how can we turn a two thirds into a one? Well, one way is to divide two thirds by another two thirds, right? But there is another way, a more direct way. And let me go ahead and show you that right now. Okay, so what we can do here is use the reciprocal. So anytime you have an equation with a fraction like two thirds H, what you wanna do is flip this fraction upside down. Okay, so two thirds, if we find the reciprocal or flip it upside down is three halves, okay? Now, why am I saying that? Well, three halves times two thirds is one. Okay, so this is another way to get a one H because three times two is six, and that is going to be divided by two times three, which of course is six, and six divided by six is one. So if we multiply a fraction by its reciprocal, we also get a one, and this is gonna be a lot easier because we can avoid dealing with complex fractions. So what we're gonna do is multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal or three halves. Okay, so three halves times two, two thirds is one or one H or H, and then one fourth times three halves is what? Well, that is going to be three over eight, which of course is our answer. Okay, so this is the easiest way to solve basic algebraic equations with fractions, all right? So as long as you understand that the goal of an equation or to solve an equation is to get the variable all by itself and you also understand the concept that whatever you do to one side of the equation you have to do the exact same thing to the other side well if you understand these major concepts it's far easier to solve equations than just to kind of remember uh, remember certain steps okay so if you're taking basic algebra like pre-algebra or algebra one and you need more help in algebra, I'm gonna leave links to my algebra courses in the description of this video. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.